<laughs> you seem surprisingly calm. Your third ordeal has arrived. Do you think you can overcome it? I see. Your mind is already made up. And that's a fitting answer for you. What is Sho trying to summon? How is he going to use the Persona Fragments? All I can do is watch over your journey. What is happening in your town must be ascertained with your own eyes. Is Marie all right? Marie is fighting desperately right now. Calamities in your town directly affect her. Your actions will decide the girl's fate. One last thing. The young man who rejects everything and wishes to destroy the world? You hold the key to his salvation. Depending on what you choose, you may be able to awaken him as an official guest. this thing is. Are you trying to ruin my plan? Gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was gonna let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? You're so 
finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. <laughs> sure. I'm lame. Whatever. But... You don't know yet, do you? <sighs> Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Die. You piece of shit. Stop it, show! Oh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know. I'm not that type of person. You're such a know-it-all. It's not... So funny. What are you guys getting all desperate for? It's disgusting. It makes me sick. I hate it when people get all goody goody. I'll destroy everything. Everything. I'll, I'll, I'll destroy every. He's getting too worked up. That's a bad habit of his. You must be the other one. Minazuki. I didn't think you would put up this much of a fight. Perhaps I should have killed you back then after all. Minazuki, you said then that you did all this to grant Sho's wish. But this isn't the way to save him! And I said that's your perspective on the matter. All I'm here for is to grant this boy's wish. Do you still not get it? That's not Sho's wish! Are you delusional? I know the boy. I know of his hatred and his suffering. <laughs> his father, Shuji Akutsuki, abandoned this boy. He used the child for his own desires and then discarded him when he was as good as dead. Shuji Akutsuki. This is the world that abandoned him. That's why this boy came to detest everything about this world and wished for it all to disappear. No! Sho just doesn't know yet! What he's been through isn't all there is to the world! It's not too late! Silence. I am assured of one who brings about death. If this boy wishes for the death of all, then I will use my true nature to destroy this world. Show sake too. I will defeat you. Very well. Come and fight.
Finally! Nazuki, why are you trying to grant Sho's wish? A foolish question. I awakened within this boy. It's only natural for me to grant his desires. of your bonds. I don't know exactly what you are. Since you were born from a plume of dusk, maybe you really are a shard of one who brings about death. But no matter how you hurt or how badly you're about to fall, the power that lets you stand up for someone else, that comes from bonds. Impossible. I am this boy's. No one lives alone protected Sho, and supported him all this time. You should know that by now. Chan's Minazuki kun. You're disqualified from the P1 climax. Time for you to make your exit. Kagutsuchi, you bastard. Kagutsuchi. <laughs> did you think I didn't know? Of course I did. I knew from the very beginning about your idea to use the power left inside a dachi baby to suppress me. So you deduced even that. Oh. Yeah. You, Narukami, you defeated this fool, so you're the champion of the P1 Climax! Congratulations! Your prize is... your execution! <gasps> hmm? What do you think you're doing? What do you intend to do with this boy, Kagutsuchi? <laughs> what am I going to do? Isn't, Isn't it, it obvious? obvious? I'm, I'm going, going to, to kill, kill him. him! I'll grant that brat you're so fond of what he wants. A world of solitude. But I'll be the only one there. 
It, it will be, be a world, world all for myself, myself where only I, I exist. <laughs> this body had reached its limit anyway. It's only a fate made with shadows, after all. It was never meant to support itself alone. <laughs> Fortunately, a horde of shadows to create a vessel, and persona fragments to control it have been gathered. What? Well done, my friend. It is thanks to you that everything came together so splendid. All that's left is to fuse that fragment the shadows of the base, and then devour the persona fragments to inhabit my new corporeal form. <laughs> <laughs> you, Narukami, I was born when this town was enshrouded in form. I have quite the connection with all of you. What? I pay no heed to others. I am the collective will of those who abandon all connections and strive to live only for themselves. I will incinerate everything. I will murder, trample, and cast you humans down into the depths of despair. My name is Hino Kagutsuchi, one who kills all who live in this world. Don't worry, I won't let you die so quickly. You will live to witness my advent, and will be the first sacrifice to my power. I won't let you do this! <laughs> Your nerve astounds me, but I wouldn't be so sure. Your allies are about to be overwhelmed by the flood of shadows. You all fought so long within this red fog, just as I planned. And you are exhausted to your very souls. You have no hope of defeating me now. My first puppet is quite useful for that purpose. I had directed it at you with the aim of harvesting your personas, but... You mean Labyrinth? Ah, is that what you call it? And I take in your shadows for my own. Their own wills are going to be even less obedient than I required. I learned that in the previous battles. Thus did I prepare this fog and my new scheme to carve a way to your personas. Personas are the suppressed strength of heart. Nothing is better suited to suppress the will of shadows than that. So that's why! <laughs> now 
is the time for despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. Behold it! Lend me your strength, Pyle! Kagutsuchi, that's what holds you back. The power I wield, the power we wield, it will never succumb to someone like you! Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! Persona! <laughs> Adachi-san? <sighs> what are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. out for I don't have time to waste either so let's hurry up and put it into this right Ah! 
My sincere congratulations on winning the P1 Grand Prix. Elizabeth? What are you doing here? The what you just defeated now was different in form. It appeared to be another embodiment of man's consciousness that wishes for death. And suffice to say, I had my own reason to witness its end. Your own reason, huh? That is correct. Favor, Elizabeth? Hmm, a favor? Depending on what you ask, I'll have to demand payment. I'm not sure about that. But can you please send all my friends in this tower somewhere safe? Haha, <laughs> if that is all you ask, it's as easy to grant as having an orange at a kotatsu. You've actually used a kotatsu? No, it was merely a figure of speech. I've never so much as seen a kotatsu. Yeah. <sighs> Very well, then. I will transport your friends to somewhere safe as you wish. Oh, where would this somewhere safe be? Ah, oh, yes, the perfect place has occurred to me. I shall send you all there. Baby, until the day we meet again. Farewell. Well done, Narukami. I'm sorry for the trouble we caused. No, we owe you too. Thank you for stopping the shadows. Wish I could have gone to the top myself, but I'll let you take the glory this time. Thank you, Akihiko-san. Your world, Junpei. Huh? We go through a TV to get out of the TV? Come on, Blue Daruma, quit kidding around. It's for real. But, huh, now that you mention it, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Going into a TV leads you out of the TV? Jeez, what are you making it all complicated for? It's fine. The TVs are connected. These things only get confusing because you overthink them. I don't believe this. Look, you just gotta show him.
it, Kanji? That hurt! Don't you know the saying, a head in motion tends to stay in motion? Shut up! It's your fault for rubbernecking! When I stuck my head out, I saw a security guard making the rounds. Huh? Eh? Junpei, why are you sleeping on the floor? Just when we were trying to explain things to you. Hey, wait a second. Kanji-kun, did you just say there was a guard out there? Huh? Yeah. So? Then the town's back to normal. The people who disappeared must be safe now, right? Oh, that's right! Good job, Junpei. You did great! Uh... I'm not sure what I had to do with it. All right, it finally feels like we won! We saved the town our very own selves. We did it! Show. Come at us however many times you want, but next time we'll fight one on one, fair and square. He survived. Yes. Regrettably, he is a serious criminal who tried to destroy the world. We cannot leave him be. I understand. But I won't be so stubborn this time. I ask that you all cooperate with us in capturing Minazuki. Leave it to me. My persona's gotten real strong. I'll find that show in no time so Senpai can breathe easier. That reminds me. That dude was wearing our uniform. I guess we should start by beating the crap out of everyone at school? No violence yet, Kanjikun. An investigation must be carried out based on thorough examination and confirmed evidence. Hmm? Was he wearing our uniform? I didn't notice at all. Remember Minnie smell too. <laughs> he can run, but he can't hide from Teddy's nose. Dude, will you stop giving everyone and everything those weird nicknames? Does your nose even work anymore? You've been sneezing this whole time. <laughs> no, I haven't. That was because of the red fog. It was filled with a terrible curse and curses don't exist. Although given what Kagutsuchi was after. I suppose it did have an effect of that sort, in truth. Uh, why are we so scatterbrained? Can't you guys stay on one topic for ten seconds? Oh, sheesh.
sitting here makes it feel like I'm really back. <laughs> Indeed. It seems that for now, the case is closed. Man, that guy sure gave us some grief. Wasn't the world on the brink of ending? Mm-hmm. Although, I felt a bit sorry for him. Huh? For who? You can't even figure that out? She's talking about how Sho probably didn't want to turn out that way. Yeah, he's a really clumsy kid. <laughs> I keep thinking about how similar I was, you know? According to Mitsuru-san, ever since Ikutsuki abandoned Sho, he was left for dead in the hospital's care. I surmise that is where he learned of Ikutsuki's death, and later heard this plan's proposal from Minazuki. That reminds me! That thing that showed up at the end! He knew Kagutsuchi, right? What was that thing, really? Yeah. It said it was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. Hmm. And that's not all. It was all over my fuzzy head, but what was that collective will of so-and-so part about? I guess it was formed from the hearts of people who only think about themselves, never caring what happens to others. Yeah. When the fog covered this town last time, the hearts of people who only cared about their own safety gathered and formed that Hino Kagutsuchi. That's a sad way to be. I wonder why some people think like that. Well, there's nothing we can do about it except to do our best. By the way, partner. Yeah? Did you see Adachi up there? What happened to him in the end? No way! Adachi-san?! That bastard was here?! Don't worry about him. He'll obey the rules. All right then, let's go home. But man, some long holiday this turned out to be. Seriously, you couldn't came to visit and we didn't get to talk at all. <sighs> oh well. But now that it's all over, I think I had fun. Ah! Yuki-chan, have you turned to violence? Mm -hmm. Thinking back on it, I did see some dangerously scary faces from you. Teddy, would you like to see me angry? Ah! There! That's exactly what I'm talking about! I somewhat understand what Yukiko-senpai means. Despite the lost time, we've gathered as a group again. I'm glad for that much. Yosuke-senpai, I'm hungry. Can't we go grab a bite yet? <laughs> treat of course I'm not treating anyone the store's not even open stop trying to make me treat you guys every time <sighs> things really haven't changed at all oh senpai look Let's go, everyone. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah, same to you. It's not like I really did anything. It was getting my butt handed to me and you weren't around. Like, that was fun. You were keeping Dojima-san and everyone else safe, weren't you? That was a huge help. Stupid. Stupid no-tech love machine. You're being too honest with me. Stupid. 
stupid. Hey, this town, um, do you like it? Huh? Yeah, I love it. G go home already! Get out of here and... Thanks for bringing my things all the way here. Don't worry about it. Man, you seem pretty busy. So, if you're headed back, does that mean things are settled? Yeah. Yes. Take some more time off the next time you come. You seem pretty lonely. <laughs> oh, Yukon, it's almost time! Well then, time to disband the investigation team for real this time. I feel a little down when you actually come out and say it like that. Yes, but disbanding means that the case has been solved. We should take pride in that, at least. The investigation team? Oh, crap! Uh, um, Chihei's dog went missing, so... Huh? Really? If you had told me, I would have rushed to help in a jiffy! Why are you falling for that? Just stay quiet! That's not fair! I wanted to help, too! I'm sorry, Nanako. I'll be back in the summer. Oh, for reals? You're gonna stay the whole summer, right? Oh, uh... Yay! That's more than a month! We can do anything then! Let's see, the summer festival? Going swimming in the ocean? Ooh, and the fireworks show! We wouldn't mind at all. Nanako would love to have you around. Yes! The train will be arriving shortly. Please step behind the white lines for your safety. Saying such selfish things, I'll tell you a scary story before bed. I'll have more time over the summer vacation, Nanako. We can play more then. Okay. Wow, I didn't know Nanako chan doesn't like scary stories. Yeah, if she sees a scary story on TV before bed, she can't go to the bathroom by herself. I'm the one who gets woken up in the middle of the night. Dad! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, we're through, Dad. Nanako!
break, broke, broken, uh, eat, uh, eaten? Uh, why the hell does it keep changing like that? Break? What is it, a car? I don't even have any brothers named Ken! Oh my, are you studying English? <laughs> it must be a cold day in hell. You, you old hag! I'm trying to study here, so quit making fun of me! My, my. He's embarrassed. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to ask you. Well, what is it? Quit bothering me. I, I just hurry up and ask already. Well, our dyes seem to be running out much faster lately. Do you know anything about that? How should I know? Maybe we had a, a burglar or something. Oh my. <laughs> a burglar who only steals dyes. Like I said, how should I know? You're probably just imagining it anyway. Is that so? How odd. I washed yesterday had an odd unevenness to its coloring. What? Like how? Well, that handkerchief is my best work lately. And... Wait. The one I washed was a white handkerchief. Ah, oh, the ravages of age. I keep misremembering things. <laughs> you, you old hag! Color just isn't the same. school girl and a manager that's awesome hey could you wash my back later sir please don't choke like that well I might consider it if you held a party here every day for the next year really I'll take you up on that <laughs> thank you for your patronage of course I must ask that you pay for everything up front <laughs> huh Yuki-chan, are you okay? Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Don't worry, 
I'll make sure to lean on you and the others if I'm ever feeling stressed. Please help me out if that happens. Really? <laughs> You've gotten so dependable all of a sudden. The chefs did it. Yuki-chan, um, I smell something burning. Are you okay? I'm okay, for now. You're improving as a manager, but I think your progress as a cook is still bumpy. first. What is this? Some kind of old manuscript? Oh, I'm in great shape at least. How come there aren't any practical skills in the primary exam? the written exams, too. I mean, he'd make it to the top easy. I'm gonna do my best.
What do you mean? You probably believe that this investigation is about the potential dangers of the Kirijo group. But that's not the truth. It was ordered by top public safety officials who aren't keen on Mitsuru Kirijo's influence. They're trying to find fault with her to rein her in. Then, were these top officials dissatisfied with my report? Oh, your report was detailed and accurate. But that was too fair for their liking. Are you asking me to report a distortion of the truth? <laughs> Don't glare like that. The officials used Kirijo's disappearance this time to order an investigation on the Shadow Operative's facility. Yes, I know about that. I'd heard from my friends. But these investigation results aren't what those at the top hoped for. If this continues, they may abandon rational judgment in their desperation. In other words, you think they would begin to suspect me as taking sides with Kirijo? Yes, but that's not what we hope to see happen. In all honesty, Enabling their power struggle has no upside for our organization at all. We are very satisfied with your work. That's why it would be less than ideal if you lost favor with the top officials and became unhirable. I understand. Though they're all part of public safety, you're saying the top officials and the on-site investigators have different views. <laughs> That's the nature of the beast. You have my permission to continue visiting this place from now on, so I ask that you play along this once. Permission to continue? So, you leave a thread for me to follow while telling me not to get too involved. A bit self-serving, wouldn't you say? A harsh assessment. Both the inner truth and the outer veneer matter in society. That's how it is. I was only joking. I thank you for your generous consideration. There's further investigation. It seems I'm about to be very busy. All right, that must be the place. Thanks to this case, I feel like I'm finally prepared to face my future. It's like I finally made a breakthrough. Breakthrough? I kept wondering if there was any way I could spend my time with everyone forever and ever. Mm -hmm. But I realized that that's just running from reality.
That's why for now I'm focused on finding a big project that won't bore me until I die. First, I'm going to go to college and expand my horizons. I guess for how long I thought about it, it's a pretty standard. Oh, I think that's just like you, Yosuke. Isn't the long consideration really the important part? Which ones are any good? Huh? What are you doing, Yosuke? The shelf with the nurses is over there. I'll stay over here for today, thanks. Hmm? Oh, you're looking for camouflage. Something to hide your nurses with? What? <laughs> should be more showy, extravagant, all out! I feel like I'm on a roll! Swimsuit sale. Oh, now that you mention it. Oh, that's all you can say? Listen, this is supposed to be a section for elegant summer clothes for the early season. So why set up a swimsuit sale, huh? Stop changing things on your own. Oh, but Sensei will come back once summer comes, right? My mind is already in full summer mode. Jumping the gun way too much. Don't drag our store into your shenanigans. You say that, but aren't you curious too? Don't you want Yuki-chan, Chie-chan, Risei-chan, and Nao-chan to wear these new swimsuits as soon as possible? Well, sure. But wait, we weren't talking about me. Oh, I know. When Sensei comes back, let's invite Mitchan and her friends to the beach. Mitsuru-san and her friends, huh? Oh, they're regular working folks. I mean, they're a special unit, so I don't think they could just... Okay, the game will end if you give up. Just imagine what they'd all look like in swimsuits. <laughs> change the fact that it's way too early for this. Hurry up and get the display how it's supposed to be. No! I will staunchly protect my paradise! Your weird paradise has no place in our store! If you don't hurry and fix this, I'm docking your pay! This is tyranny! Utter totalitarianism! Ready? Go! Look! A white bird! Could it be the same one we saw together last summer? Who cares about birds right now? 
If there's something you want to say, then say it. Please don't be that way. I trusted in you. I believed in our promise that we'd come here on this day. So why... why did you bring her? I feel like an utter fool. Rise, John. No, Isan, we're still rehearsing here. Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. Kuchikawa, it's time. You're free to go. Everyone else, take it from the top of that scene. Huh? But... Go on or they'll yell at me. The promise was we'd do this without getting in the way of your other work. Though, I mean, your acting was great. Thank you. Um, is there anything else? What do you mean, anything else? Um, anything I should work on? I just told you that your acting was great. You're rushing this too much. Well, I don't know. I guess you need to work on... Accepting your strengths and trying to build on them? Sure. Accept my strengths? That's right. Hey, I take back what I said. Everyone take a 30-minute breather. So what do you need to talk about, Inoue-san? Oh, right. The response to your TV appearance the other day was amazing. We keep getting tons of calls with more work for you. And that's why we'd really like to set up an actual schedule and put a huge media blitz behind your comeback. No, I told you that's not what I want. I'm not even close to my peak performance yet. Huh? But, but they're all really good deals, you know? Nope. Don't you remember how we talked this over with the agency? I want to put my schoolwork first right now. Oh, can you bring the car to the front? Huh? Risei chan where are we? I have voice training after this. Come on, you're my manager. Get your act together. Oh, right. Sorry. Can you give me a ride? I want to hear about what kind of work came in. Of course. I'll bring the car around, so wait at the entrance.
This program was brought to you by the following sponsors.